Hey everybody, I'm Ashley Collins, and today I'm here with Carrie Banks, and she's not only an emerald doula, postpartum doula, she's also our resident expert in perinatal mood disorders. And today, and kind of throughout the month of May, we'll be talking about maternal mental health, and today specifically we're going to be talking about some of the risk factors um, that can increase our chances of um, developing a perinatal mood disorder. So Carrie, tell me a little bit about some of these risk factors. The number one risk factor is your own medical history. If you have a history of um, mental health issues, either anxiety or depression, you are at a greater risk of developing a perinatal mood disorder. And I say perinatal instead of postpartum because this can occur during pregnancy as well as up to a year postpartum. Um, so your own mental health history and the history of your family, um, your sisters and mother, if they had a perinatal mood disorder, you're uh, at greater risk. You may not know about your mother, and it might be a good idea to ask, because women over 50 um, oftentimes did not seek treatment and have not even spoken to anyone about their symptoms before, and it might actually be really healing for her to talk with you if she did have a mood disorder. That's really interesting. And what about um, our childbirth, um, birth experiences? Does that increase our risk at all? It does. Anytime your childbirth goes away from what you envisioned or what you had in your birth mm -hmm. plan, it puts you at a higher risk. Um, Emergency medical interventions, postpartum hemorrhages, things like that also put you at higher risk. Okay. What about the ways we feed our baby? Does that increase our risk at all? It does. There's a really strong link between difficulty breastfeeding and perinatal mood disorders. It's not sure if it's a causal, I'm not sure if it's a causal relationship, but there is a very strong um, correlation between mood disorders and breastfeeding difficulty. Interesting. So if someone's watching this video right now and they think to themselves that they have you know, one or more of these risk factors, um, what should they do and how can they find help? Well, first thing is to just be really aware. Um, if you have some of these risk factors, talk to your partner about it. Talk to your doctor or midwife, talk to your doula, and let them all know that you also have risk factors so that people are watching out for you. Um, we also are going to have a blog later today that lists a lot of resources in the triangle. We are pretty resource rich in this area. We're, nice. we're very lucky. Um, one of the best resources in the area is the UNC Center for Perinatal Mood Disorders. This is the number to call to um, schedule a perinatal consult. You would call this number and say, I want a perinatal consult. And the wait time right now is about two weeks for an appointment. If you are in, a, in crisis and you need an urgent appointment, tell them it's urgent and they'll get you in as soon as possible. That's really great to know. And we also here at Emerald Doulas um, have quite a few resources, mm -hmm. including postpartum doula support, including Carrie. Um, and Carrie actually facilitates, um, well, co facilitates a group here in our space um, the second and fourth Monday of every month from 7 to 8 30. Mm -hmm. um, and that's open to any, uh, any mother Anybody. expecting a baby um, or welcome to bring their baby up to a year, but certainly if you're beyond that, you're welcome to come as well mm -hmm. uh, who's experiencing a perinatal mood disorder. Um, and, you know, please feel free to reach out to us here at Emerald Doulas. Um, you can find our blog at www.emeralddoulas.com backslash blog. Throughout the entire month of May, we'll be featuring not only resources in this area, but some personal stories of um, survivors of perinatal mood disorders and um, ways that you can support families who are currently experiencing a perinatal mood disorder. So we hope you'll check it out there. And if you ever need support, please reach out to us. Yes, we're here to help. Thanks.